By now you know what a Java program is. Java program is nothing but collection of objects that incorporate or communicate with each other through its data and behavior, which are nothing but variables and methods. So in order to write a Java program, we need to first understand the basic syntax. How do you write? What are the naming conventions? What does a space understand? Or how do you write comments and all? So here we see that a Java is a case sensitive language. When you say case sensitive, it means whether the word or the name that you have given is of in uppercase or a lowercase. The first property it says that a Java class name should begin with an uppercase letter and then followed with a lowercase. But if the class name comprises of several words, then each of the inner word first letter should start with an uppercase. The next one is method name. What is this method? What is this class? In Java, as we have already discussed, anything and everything is object. So we can take an example of a human. A human can be considered as an object. So human can be written as a class name where H is a capital and then followed with U, M, A, N. And how will you write a method for this? What is the method for this human class? The certain behavior for every object. And in case of human example, the behavior of human may be walking, sleeping, eating and so on. So each of these behaviors are nothing but methods. And how do we write that is the first letter should be in a lowercase and then followed the rest of the letter should also be in lowercase. But if the method name comprises of several words, then each of the inner word should be of uppercase, but remaining the first word should be of lowercase. For an example, sleeping human. In case of sleeping human, S should be in a lowercase. And when you write sleeping human, the second word is human, where H should be capital. The certain other properties which says what should be the program name. What do you mean by program name here? A program name is nothing but your class by name. When you create a Java program, you will give a name or an readable or some sensible name to that program. And that program name should be exactly what a class name is all about. But what are these variables? What are these methods or the classes that you create? So the name that you give or the name that you give to all your classes, methods, variables, packages, these are nothing but identifiers. So these are the identifiers that you create and should satisfy one of the criteria. What are these criteria? That the naming convention should be from uppercase or a lowercase a to z or should start from an un uh, underscore or a currency character called a dollar. So you have certain examples for valid or illegal identifiers. What are legal identifiers? That starts with a character or an underscore or a dollar sign. Anything apart from that, like if you're starting with a digit or a minus sign as given here, will be an illegal identifier. There are certain words that you cannot use to or that you cannot use as an identifier. And what are those? Those are called as keywords. These keywords are nothing but which has certain predefined meaning in our programming languages. Let us list some of these keywords. These are the list of keywords which has a predefined meaning in Java and you cannot change the meaning of these keywords. For an example, if you want to store an age of a person or a name of a human, you should have certain data type and data type is nothing but which allows you to store that particular value and age is nothing but a number. So this number will be stored an in type. A name is nothing but of a string, right? String is nothing but a collection of character. So it is a string or when you create a class, you write a class name, how class and then the class name class is a keyword so all these keywords will be used or we will see in our going forward videos where we create our practicals next it says what are these white spaces as we have already learned the certain spaces when we write in a language what we write is an english language for sure there will be some spaces between the words and phrases so what does this white space does what are the characters which says are white space so a character to be a white space character should uh, 
satisfy one of the condition either it should be a line separator or it should be a paragraph separator or it need to be some space okay then these are the few example of white spaces here we have given int and then age because an age is a number type it is stored in int there's some space between int and age and this space is ignored by the compiler the next example it says fruits equal to apples plus oranges there's a plus sign and preceding or forwarding there is a space between this oranges right so this space is completely ignored by white space the next one is comments what are comments mainly we write it in our program for a better understanding comments are nothing but better explanatory or information of a program why is this program what a program does or what is the background that is running behind the program we can give any explanation why we have created these variables or what a method does in our cases like we have created an example called human and human has certain age certain complex certain behaviors why are we using what is the purpose of this program we can explain those with the help of comments and these comments are again ignored by the compiler you can write this comments in a single line or you can as well as write in a multi line comments how do you write simple line comments is that by providing two forward slashes and multi line by providing a forward slash following with an asterisk remember in case of multi line once you open a forward slash and asterisk you need to also close with an asterisk and a forward slash we have here a program which explain you how can you provide a comment or how a compiler ignores the comment so in this program we have created a class where we have provided certain multi line comments and single line comment as discussed how do you write multi line comment you provide a forward slash following with an asterisk and then the comment that you would want to provide once you click enter the asterisk would be followed by itself so once you end or once you complete writing your comments please close with your asterisk and then followed with a forward slash how you write a single line comment is that you provide two forward slash and following the comment that you would want to provide so let us now see practically how can you write these comments and how it works this program helps us in understanding how do you write multi line comments and single line comment comments are generally used to explain what the program is all about it is a good practice to write comments when you write down a program so that if a programmer comes back and revise should be able to understand with the help of comment what the program is all about Let us see how do you write multi line comment. You write multi line comment with the help of a forward slash, following an asterisk, and the text that you would want to write. It is important to remember that once you complete writing the entire text that you would want to display, you need to also close the multi line. So these three text lines helps us to understand what the program is all about. It says, "This is my first Java program." this will print hello world as the output and this is an example of multi line comments so it becomes an easier for programmer to understand what the program is all about the multi line comment which is written with the help of forward slash and then the asterisk can also be used to write a single line comment but it is a good practice to use two forward slash following the text to write a single line comment